Hey y'all, it's your girl Two, and I'm back with another video for you. <laughs> oh my gosh, I miss talking to you guys and posting videos each and every Tuesday, but guys, I had to learn a few years ago when to always take time away just to be and regroup and just relax, you know, and not just get myself in a position to where I feel overwhelmed with trying to juggle every single thing going on in my life. So, with that being said, guys, I am ready to start putting out more dope content for you guys and we are going to start with that content today <laughs> today the video is going to be the first video for my new series vegan versus <laughs> okay for those of you who don't really know, understand the versus piece last year in the pandemic it was really huge for a lot of artists to compete and go head to head with their songs so guys Today, I am going to do a vegan versus video and where I'm going to compare my version to a non-vegan popular dish at local restaurants, whether it's a chain restaurant, a mom and pop, whatever. So, I am actually on my way to Popeye's because today I am showing you guys how I make my amazing Popeye's chicken sandwich, okay? I know today's video is starting off a little different than normal. So I'm taking y'all outside of my kitchen for one. <laughs> See, I'm probably getting tired of the white cabinet. <laughs> so I am on my way to Popeyes now, and trust and believe we're gonna get into this thing, all right? So come right out with your girl. All right, y'all. So I'm actually in line right now. Cause yeah, I'm I'm legit. Like we're gonna do a real side-by-side -side comparison of tutu chicken and Popeyes. <laughs> okay. Well, you ready? Yes. Mom, um, may I have the classic chicken sandwich? No. Nope. Combo or just a sandwich? Just a sandwich. Okay. Thank you. Alrighty. All right, guys. So we got it, and let me head home. And we are going to throw down. All right. So see you at the crib. -o. All right, so I'm back at the crib, oh. We're gonna dissect this little sandwich real quick to see what we are gonna be working with today. So, I mean, it got a little mayo on there or whatever. Two little slices of cucumber and a chicken. I mean, it's cute. So let's see what we have in our bag. So we need some hot sauce. Gotta have those Wickles pickles. Some garlic powder. A vegan mayo. Oh, some New Orleans Cajun seasoning. Some everything flour. Gotta have that burger powder on the burk burk. Gotta have that paprika. You know I got that melanated pepper on dick. Hey, sea salt, what it do? Oh, parsley flakes, what it do? Oyster mushrooms, what it do? Vegan butter, what it do? <laughs> I like vegan buns and I cannot lie. Hey. <laughs> Some unsalted saltine crackers. Oh, avocado oil, yo, y'all. Some plant-based milk. And last but not least, gotta have some fresh garlic on dick. All right, so let's get into this thing. So we're gonna take our oyster mushrooms. Hey, cause I'm on, wipe me down with a damp cloth. And we're just gonna cut the stem a little bit cause we don't want the trunk to be too thick. Then we're gonna start to peel back about two cloves of garlic. Add it in there because we're just going to make a quick marinade for this. I'm just going to drizzle in a little bit of avocado oil and sprinkle in some New Orleans Cajun seasoning. Rub it around. Make sure it gets all up and through there. Every crack and crevice, baby, because we want these flavors to pop. Okay. All right, so now we're going to get ready for the, one of the most important parts of this dish. So we're going to work on our wet and dry batter. So for our dry batter, we're going to have one cup of flour. And for our wet batter, we're going to have a half cup of flour. Then we're going to make it run in our wet batter with half a cup of plant-based milk. Give it a good little stir. You see? You feel me? Make sure it's all nice and blended. Then in our dry batter, we're going to add one tablespoon of baking powder. One and a half tablespoons of Cajun seasoning. And we're gonna add half a tablespoon of garlic powder, one tablespoon of parsley flakes, and half a tablespoon of sea salt. 
Look at the flick of the wrist. Hey, look at the flick of the wrist. We're just going to add in some melanated pepper to taste. Now let's finish off our wet batters. We're going to add one tablespoon of our hot sauce, a half tablespoon of our New Orleans Cajun seasoning. Then we're going to make it drizzle with one teaspoon of garlic powder. Throw some beans, some greenery to the scenery with one teaspoon of parsley. And of course, we got to finish off with our melanated pepper. All right, so to finish off our dry batter, we're gonna take about a little over half a pack of our saltine crackers and just grind it down. This is gonna be our breadcrumbs replacement. I like to add this in my dry batter because it really helps bring out that amazing crunch in our crust. And then we're just gonna mix it around, flick our wrist lighty. And then we're gonna do the same thing for our wet batter and flick our wrist a lighty, a flick our wrist a. Ladies. All right, so here is the fun and messy part. So now we are going to take our seasoned oyster mushroom. We're going to drop that thing in a coat of our wet batter. Then we're going to drop that thing like a bad habit in our dry batter. Then we're going to drop that thing again in our wet batter. And you know we got to go back to the dry batter, baby. I'm a two-coat shawty. So I already had my grease heating up. Of course, I had to check it by dropping in a couple sprinkles of our flour. It was perfectly hot. So now, you know, I'm just going to put our oyster mushrooms in there to fry. And y'all, look at that crust. It is so freaking beautiful. And as you can see, it's a legit Let's move on with our spicy mayo. So we're going to add in two tablespoons of our vegan mayo. One tablespoon of... I'm so sorry about that. <laughs> gonna add some garlic powder to taste and about one teaspoon of paprika then we're gonna make sure we give it a good stir oh make sure it's nice and blended now it is time to toast our buns so we're gonna take our vegan butter that has been softened at room temperature we're just gonna spread it on the tops and bottoms and I'm just gonna place this on a cast iron skillet until we get it cheese like this Y'all see that little melanation? <laughs> so I'm just gonna spread our spicy mayo on there. Lay in a couple of my Wiggles pickles. Ooh, take that little oyster mushroom, place it on there, look at that baby. And of course I had to add a little bit more mayo to the top. Slap that thing on like a wig. And y'all, y'all see this? I mean Popeyes, look. Come on now, come on now. It's it's starting, clearly starting. So let's get into it. All right, y'all. As you see, we have completed my first vegan versus. Man, oh man, this thing is stunning on Popeyes for real, for real. So we're about to dive into it, give it a try. Like I said, this is gonna be given to somebody else. <laughs> but y'all see the side by side comparison. We pray, Lord, we thank you for this meal. You have blessed us. No, ignore my body, and bless my palate. We give you all the praise, honor, and glory. Amen. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> what side? Let me get this side because this side a little hefty. Mmm, mmm. That's busting. Y'all. I don't know if y'all heard that crunch, but the crust is popping. The flavors are there. Woo! Mmm, mmm. I'm sorry, but did it on them. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Did it on them. <laughs> but y'all gotta give us a try. I definitely nailed this recipe for sure. If you guys try this out, please make sure to tag me in your post on my social media platforms that you can follow below also comment below what other vegan verses y'all want to see tag some of your favorite restaurants and some of your favorite dishes and i will veganize it so with that being said have a beautiful and blessed week love y'all and thank you guys for riding out with your girls today